with our top story this hour. That's right. There are some major developments in the fight against COVID. Yeah, kids in the U.S. over the age of five are on track to get vaccinated by Halloween. That's just in time, right? For Austin, oh, yeah. especially. Uh, CBS 2's Tina Patel is live with the form in Inglewood with details on this story. Tina, good morning to you. Good morning. Pfizer is releasing new trial results this morning. They say a lower dose of the vaccine was found to be safe in children 5 to 11, and they said that they generated a what they call robust antibody response. The so the company says that they are planning on applying for emergency approval from the FDA soon. Very good news, a very good update. We will keep you updated on those developments. Now look at this. There is still concern about how much the Delta variant is spreading, and new rules for large events are going into effect statewide today. If you go to an indoor event with more than 10,000 people, now you will need to show proof of vaccination or you'll need to show that you got a negative COVID test within 72 hours of the event. The same rules will apply to outdoor events with more than 10,000 people starting October 7th. Public health officials say they are doing what they can to manage risk and make sure that we don't have another surge as we head into late fall and winter. Now, as we come back out here live, there is a Kings of Leon concert here at the forum tomorrow night, so fans will need to be planning ahead. They can no longer self attest. They need to show proof to be let in, but there will be a rapid COVID testing site here for fans who don't have the proof. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Tina. But so going back to this trial involving young children, lots of parents are curious about this. Will they end up getting the same shot that adults get? No, Suzanne, that's a good question because in the trial, kids between the ages of 5 and 11 were given a 10 microgram dose. Microgram dose. The adults, the, the ones over the age of 12, have been getting 30 micrograms. So it is a lower dose, but Pfizer says that the results that they saw in the children were similar to what they see in older people. So they're very pleased, and they actually say that now trials with people six months and up are actually going on, and they're hoping that those results will be back maybe by the end of this year.